Good morning, everybody. We are fishing. I'm with Fire Pond Guy. It's Fire Pond Guy. We're uh, fishing in a new lake, and uh, I drove, I got up around 4.30, ate some breakfast, drove like an hour and a half to a lake I've never been to. Fire Pond Guy says obviously it's gonna be fire, so we're gonna see. Got a bunch of baits. I'm hoping to catch them on top water, but this is a nice little, nice little pond, lake, small lake, big pond that we're going to be fishing 30 acres. 30 acres it's really cold i'm like shivering as i'm talking why it's so cold it's like 42 degrees and it should be a lot warmer than this it's six what's it 6 30 no it's seven o'clock now he told me to be here at 6 15 so i was here at 6 15 and of course you know went a little too hard last night at the frat parties that was not my fault <laughs> and got here at seven so seven o'clock it's still low light though so we're gonna we're gonna start fishing Hoping, hopefully, it's fire. All right, first spot. We're gonna see if we can catch a bass. I'm gonna start off with top water. I always like starting off with moving baits, and uh, I didn't wake up at 4:30 in the morning not to throw top water. So we're gonna see if this works. Although the air temperature is like 40 degrees, the water temperature, my guess, would be around 60. So I think they should still eat some top water. There's one, good one, good one. Oh God. First fish on top water. Yeah, that's a good fish. Probably three. That first fish came on a little plob daddy. Not a bad fish, not a bad start. I saw him swimming around up there. He's kind of swirling and I don't know if these fish are spawning or what they're doing, but that's a good sign that they ate, ate top water. First fish at the fire pond with fire pond guy. See you, buddy. Whew. Smoked it. You got one? Alex got one. Is it big? I'm coming. Let's see. Oh, there's a good one. Look at that fish. Right there. Son, that is fish. Number one for you, right? Yes, sir. First fish. Is there anything in its mouth? It's got a giant belly. Let me see that belly. Frog. There it is. No, that's a bluegill tail. Yeah, bluegill tail. That's a good one. Ooh, there you go. Fat fish. All right, Alec got a fish. We're good to go. He caught that on a, I should catch it on the worm. Yeah. Big old rubber worm. Oh, shoot. I just had one. I missed it. Let's see if the old Senko switcheroo does the trick. Just had a fish eat the uh, eat the little swimming worm. There it is. Caught it. Oh, now I see why I missed it the first time because the worm I was throwing was bigger than the fish. That's a little trick for you guys. Although this is a flare fish, if you do get if you miss a fish on like a bigger presentation, maybe a buzzbait or a frog or a bigger worm. Grab a little weightless Texas rig Sanko and pitch it in there. That usually gets them every time. Two hours later. Well, folks, we made a move. We went to a different lake about 20 minutes away. We didn't catch a whole lot of fish. It's been uh, it's been slow, and uh, we made so we made a move. This is a lake that I fished with Alec. What do you think? Like a month and a half ago. February? It was February, wasn't it? Yeah, it's February. It's when I crashed my drone. I don't know if you guys ever saw that. Yeah, you guys saw that video. Yeah, I crashed my drone here, so obviously I got to come back and get redemption. Um, we're going to try to catch some fish, though. It's it's fairly similar in size. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's going to be any better, but we figured it's like 15 minutes away from the other lake, the other pond. We're going to give it a shot. I think I'm going to start off with some chatterbaits, maybe some Sankos. But there's some big fish in this lake. We caught, I think Alec caught like a five or a six last time, and I caught like a four. So we're going to hope for some bigger fish. Hopefully we, uh, as the sun gets up and it, and it heats up the water, I'm thinking the fight's going to get better. Could be wrong, but this major cold front's really not going to help us. So hopefully I'm going to turn this video into a teaching video. What to do when a cold front hits in the spring during the spawn and how to catch fish. That doesn't seem all that sturdy. Oh, we Gucci. Okay, all right. Here goes, uh... Yeah, I'm probably gonna fall in the creek here. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, we made it. We can move down to where it really opens up too if you want, where there's like no cattails. Oh yeah. Get you one there's gotta be one in there. Get you a yep, yep. Get you one. Yeah, there. baby. Finally. Decent. Not a massive fish, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, fish. Woo! Oh man. We're uh we're basically fishing the jungle. We had to cross cross a creek on a tree, didn't die. Caught a little fish, not not a giant by any means, but I'll take it. No, I you got one. You got one. You got one. Dude, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh god, how are you gonna bring it dude, in? Dude, I don't know. How are you gonna bring Why it in? I... Oh, it's huge. It's fluorocarbon, oh dude. You're god. screwed. You're Why screwed. Did I do that? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm an idiot. You can't even. I didn't get think it. I was gonna catch one. All right, let's see. There you go, big boy. We got him. We got him in. How do you feel about that? Don't do that, guys. Yeah, whatever you do, don't do that. Don't, don't cast. Do that. Don't cast 30 feet past reeds. Or do you catch fish? We're uh, we're about to get on a boat. Look at this boat. All right. I like this boat a lot. Look at that. See this right here. Volkswagen front end. Premium. Best you can get. Front end of a Volkswagen. Little John boat. I'm digging it. We're gonna. Uh, we caught a couple of fish from the bank. We're gonna put the boat in the water. See if we can catch some more. Hopefully some big ones. What's the biggest fish you've caught out of here? I said he caught a nine pounder. A nine? Yeah. Oh, okay, so the biggest one's a nine. So we're gonna go after a nine pounder now. All right, 40 minutes. 40 minute challenge, let's go. So Alec and I are out on the boat. I'm gonna, I brought the little, little deeper along with me. There's no depth finder on this boat. So I wanna check a couple things. I wanna see what the water temperature is. I wanna see what the water depth is and then see if we can find any fish or any gr underwater grass or structure or anything like that that may, uh, that may hold some fish. Cast around out there. I'm sure this is an awkward angle for you guys, but you can see right there that little yellow strip, that is a fish and it's five feet, five, six feet and 60 degrees. And there's the little green little green vegetation on there as well. So there's some grass and then uh, the little orange orange lines right there. Those are fish hanging out in the grass. So we're gonna keep throwing the swim baits in this area. Did you catch one? Uh oh, he might have caught one. You just threw right under the deeper, did you? I wonder if he caught one of those fish. Look at that. There you go. Well, Alec just caught a fish. That was, uh, he casted literally right under the deeper. You might have caught one of those fish. That's a, that's a flare fish, but it's a fish. There you go, all right. There's one. There's... Come on, boy. Oh, it's a oh. toe, dude. Biggin. Biggin. Well, it's not a massive fish, but you know. At this point, at this point, I'll take it. See you later, Jacob. Jacob. Whoop. On the underspin swim bait. That's a bait you guys probably have never seen me throw. Right there. You go, old boy Alec over there. Just caught one out the back of this boat. He's throwing the same thing. Oh, that was a big in. You catch him? Oh, Alec just got one. That was a big in. I missed a big in. There you go. We found him. We found him. Found the juice, boys. Is we on him? We on him now, boys. We found him. Drop the poles. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, there. I let him eat it. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good fish. Yep, that's that's a big one. Oh, dude, it's a good one. Heck yeah. Woo! Yes. What, old girl? Woo! Yeah, baby. Now you tell me, ladies and gentlemen, do you think they are eating the swim bait? Finally, I finally caught a good fish. It's three, three, three and a half pounds right there on the old swim bait. We got in the boat, found the fish, caught the fish. All right, Alexandria, see you later. Give you a little high five there. God dang, Alexandria. Freaking soak the camera. We sure did turn around and. There's one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh, God. You want me to land it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's a good one. That one's even bigger. Dude. That's a four easily. Easily a four pounder. Holy guacamole, folks. That's what we're talking. That is a gorgeous, 
Gorgeous fish. All right, we're releasing uh, Betty right here. See you, Betty. Woo! Good job, Betty. Six and a half hours later. What is going on, guys? I wanted to end today's. Where's the sun? I wanted to end today's video. I uh, I'm back home. I couldn't end it out on the water. Well, what happened was, remember that one fish that like splashed the absolute crap out of the camera and got it soaked? Well, somehow the inside of the lens got some moisture. You know, believe it or not, water creates moisture, and uh, it kind of like fogged up this lens that you guys are looking through right now. And I couldn't film out of it for about five hours, so I let it sit out in the sun. Probably not the greatest thing in the world for a camera, but you know, who cares? Who cares? It's it's all for the fun of uh, catching fish, releasing fish, and uh, getting that epic splash release on camera. But I wanted to uh, to make sure I ended the video. I'm actually about to go fishing right now. I'm gonna film a one hour MTB challenge with one of my buddies. He says he has permission to go fish a golf course. So we're gonna go hit that up uh, right at sunset. But I wanted to end the video here. I know I kept talking about the cold front and how sucky fishing was and we actually ended up catching some decent fish today. It just kind of took some time. I think the whole thing was is to let it heat up. Maybe, maybe it's just a coincidence, but I figured it out like the last couple times I've gone fishing uh, whenever there's been a cold front is the afternoon bite is always better than the morning bite. I don't know why I keep getting up at 4.30 a.m. and going fishing because I usually don't catch many fish until past noon once that sun heats up the water I think those fish kind of get more active I don't know I could be completely wrong but during the spawn that is the pattern that I've been finding um, pretty much every time I've gone fishing during a, during a cold front so there's that and then the other thing is now that the cold front hit um, we see we use a bait that I don't really ever use which is an underspin with a swim bait and I wanted to talk just a, a, a small bit about that um, because it's a bait that I've never really thrown that much on camera thrown a little bit here and there but not a whole lot now I kind of wanted to explain to you guys why we picked that and why we think it worked the thing is that lake that pond wherever we were at usually the chatterbait is the thing usually chatterbait you guys see me throw chatterbaits everywhere all the time the thing is the chatterbait is great when it's windy and you know the fish are active and it was windy, so that's good. You got the you got the windy factor, but it, it was a cold front, and the fish were not that active. And the underspin is just a little bit more subtle. It's a little less subtle than than just a single swim bait or maybe a swim jig, um, but it's a little more subtle than a chatterbait or maybe a spinnerbait. It's just got a little bit of flash to it, just a little bit of flash, and then of course the swim bait just kind of kicks kicks along and kind of swims along and. It worked. I mean, I don't know. It's just it's just one of those things you just kind of stumble upon. Alex said that the, he thinks that this might work, and he ended up catching some fish. They were nice enough to give me one, and I ended up catching some nice fish. Overall, I had a great time fishing with Fire Pond Guy and Josie. Huge shout-out to those guys for inviting me out for a great time. I'm going to fish in Nebraska one more day, and then I'm headed on a, a pretty cool trip. I'm not going to say where just yet, uh, but it's going to be kind of exciting. It's with the entire Guggen squad, so you guys are going to be able to look forward to uh, some pretty awesome awesome videos from us that's all i've got thank you guys so much for watching again you've got a couple days left if you want to order so any flare gear you get entered to win a 250 dollars favorite bass fishing round ends april 30th so hurry up if you do want any apparel from the store i'll link the store down below and peace Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no loving, that's fine.